right. Oh. Good. Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. It seems like we just started all over again, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> but uh, welcome. I'm so excited to talk about uh, this book. And I'm, I'm just going to steal it from you for just sure. a second. It's My Baby Rhinos. And I've got uh, author and uh, publisher. Uh, and that is Jesse Shepard, uh, who is here. Also, Marie Shepard, uh, who joins us. She is a retired counselor from Eckert Hill Middle School. I want to thank you both for being here. It's terrific to have you. I, I'm so excited about this. Yeah. We, I, we get a chance to talk to you about this a little over a week ago, this book, and you, you guys know my love for the rhino with uh, rhinos for wildlife, rhinos for rhinos, and you, a similar experience here that happened yes. uh, with this, with the making of this book, falling in love with the rhino. So let's start by giving me a little background. Okay. Um, I guess I was the collaborator of this project because right. I was at the right place at the right time, and my very best friend from second grade actually went to Tula Tula, which is a... a wildlife reserve in South Africa. And she went there after reading The Elephant Whisperer from Lawrence Anthony. He is a man that has this preserve and he wrote The Elephant Whisperer about rogue elephants and made them absolutely be wonderful and safe in the environment. So yeah. they fell in love with the rhinos and they came back and wrote a book about it. And we needed illustrators so we brought Chelsea Jones, who is our sixth grade art teacher, we asked her to have the students and herself illustrate this book, which made it magical wow. and majestic. Well, it's, it's a great collaboration. Here's, I'm gonna show this picture. This is from Tula Tula. This is yes. the moment uh, when, when uh, the magic happened there of connecting to these wonderful animals. Yes. A lot of people don't realize, and I talk about it often on the show though, that um, a, a rhino uh, is very much like a, in a sense, like a giant dog. Yeah. They're not <laughs> nearly right. as tough as mm -hmm. they seem. You know, you definitely wouldn't want to meet one in the wild in the wrong way. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you don't want to be in their way. But right. as long as you're not bugging them, they aren't bugging you. They're just yeah. sweet and wonderful animals. And unfortunately, people are hurting them just for the sake of a horn that uh, does nothing. But for yeah. so many people, they believe yeah. uh, that it uh, has magical properties, which right. it simply does not have. It's made the same things your fingernails are made of, yes. mm -hmm. right? Oh, you're so good. And yes. so uh, you, uh, so you guys ha felt that and, and what was happening and saw the, the, you know, the issue of the, the plight of the rhino. That's yeah. really where this comes from, right, right from the heart. And Kelsey, who is one of the authors, is 18 now. And when she was 16 and visited, they realized that these babies were crying because they had lost their mothers. So she wanted to do a fundraiser to help with the rhino orphanage in wow. Tula Tula. So if you go to the Tula Tula website, they have videos of all these rhinos that they are nursing back to health that maybe have lost their mothers because of this plight. So yeah. it was a real, um, real passionate call for her to write this book. Yeah, you kind of can't help it. I, I think once you uh, see this uh, in, in real life, it's quite something. Yeah. Talk to me about, uh, I want to talk about this collaboration with the children. And <laughs> as a therapist, uh, you know about this probably more than anyone. So talk to me about that for a moment. Well, it, I, you know, before this book was brought to our attention uh, for publication, I did not know quite the devastation that was going on. Yeah. And so once we realized this, I was like, oh my gosh, everybody needs to know. This is, this is something that we need to share. We need to spread awareness about. Yeah. And the neat thing is we brought uh, the kids in to do the artwork um, because they really have that passion and they are the ones that are going to be able to continue on yeah. helping the rhinos. They're inheriting this earth that yes. we're creating uh, in, in some ways uh, we're doing a very poor job of Yes, I agree. Uh, as adults and we <laughs> all had a look at that yeah. a little bit um, but uh, yeah getting them involved and, and, and letting them kind of start to straighten out our future yeah. it's our, our best hope. <laughs> Sorry kids, yeah. right? it is our future. <laughs> yeah. 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 As a, but as a publisher you must feel a lot of uh, a, a, a lot of pride in the fact that you are getting the word out. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've got, uh, you know, I'll just say this because maybe people don't know it, but there's uh, the white rhino is essentially walking, uh, a walking version of a uh, an animal that will no longer exist right. when the last yes. two die. We we can do nothing at this point to save them. It's yes. already too late. Yeah. 
that is, when you think about that and the fact that you're getting that word out, mm -hmm. that has got to be powerful for you as a, as a publisher. Yes, and the neat thing about this book is that you can read it to all ages. Right. And so, we, we, you know, you can read it to teenagers and they get it, but you can also read it to your elementary kids. And right. my five-year-old understands and understands the passion and the need to help these rhinos. Yeah. And so the subject matter is tough, but yet we've written it in a way that is acceptable yes. uh, for kids. Yes. Yeah. And one thing quickly we're going to do mm -hmm. is have these artists, because we want this to live. We want their artwork to live on. They're going to be reading to all the four elementary schools in Park City School District, and we're going to do a fundraiser for the Rhino Orphanage mm -hmm. in early March. So That's look tremendous. for that. So it looks like about, uh, what, 18 or, or so yes, kids? 17 plus kids. 17 kids plus mm -hmm. uh, Miss Chelsea Jones, yes. mm -hmm. uh, the teacher, and what a wonderful job they've done at this, which is why I'm excited to talk to them about this in a minute. Where can people find the book, first of all? So the, the book is on Amazon and Barnes and Noble. Okay. Um, if, if you just type in My Baby Rhinos, it'll pull right up. Um, and the cool thing is all the author proceeds go to the Tula Tula Orphanage. Wow. So um, when you buy a book, you're helping just in doing that, and then you also get to share the awareness. So Love pretty it. cool. You guys yeah. are doing such great work, and mm -hmm. I, I'm fun. so thrilled to bring you into uh, Park City Television to talk about it because we love the rhino here. I'm excited to talk to the kids about their contribution to the book as well. Yeah. That's coming up right here on the Mountain Morning Show. We'll talk to some of these young illustrators right after this. Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. We continue our conversation about a very wonderful book, and uh, it is My Baby Rhinos. I am thrilled to have two of the illustrators here. They're part of the class that illustrated this book together. I've got uh, Briley and Ainsley here. Briley, Ainsley, welcome both of you to the show. It's terrific to have you. Yeah, thank you. How excited were you to be part of this, My Baby Rhinos? Um, it was really exciting. Um, it was a cool opportunity to know that you're helping um, these rhinos that are um, being harmed. Yeah, I mean, that must have been, was that news to you? Did you know about that before you started talking about it with the teacher? I didn't know um, about this, um, so I know that the project focused on this. So. Right, so it became important to you when you found out how the, well, the plight of the rhinos and how bad it is, mm -hmm. right, as far as poaching is concerned. Ainsley, how did that make you feel when you heard about this, that people were hurting rhinos just for horns? Well, I vaguely knew about it, yeah. but um, I just I just didn't understand why they would harm baby animals. Exactly, yeah, and leave these uh, these orphans, uh, which is even, even more sad, I think. Uh, for mm -hmm. kids, uh, you guys have, probably have a better touch and feel for what that might be like, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, you guys are both from Ecker, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a, a fun project that you got to do as a class. What was that like collaborating together? Um, it was really cool, and I could. Um, Miss Jones told us about that she was asked to illustrate this book, and if we wanted to um, have the opportunity to like make this collagraph for this, that we have the full opportunity to do that. Well, let's hold these up and we'll talk, well, we're showing them on screen now, actually. Um, mm -hmm. This collagraphs. This is a different form. This is fun. You guys get to cut pieces out, or you mm -hmm. draw, mm -hmm. then cut them out, then uh, lay ink on them, then stamp them. I mean, this is a big production, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's that like? That's got to be fun. Yeah, it was really fun. It was cool, and um, I thought it was fun how we were just like learning as we were making art for this. So. Right. I mean, yours uh, involves a, a crying rhino. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about that. That's uh, that's right from the heart, huh? Yeah, I did it for because so we had um, the story with us, and so I chose this for because um, knowing that these rhinos were without mothers, that they were all alone in this. Um, organization has really helped them and so that's what wow. I've really done mine. So tears of sadness for them, tears mm -hmm. of happiness for you, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, Ainsley, yours involves the, the little girl and yeah. I love that. That is a <laughs> tremendous piece that you did there. You. Simple and yet the form, wonderful. <laughs> Talk to me about that real quick. We have like five seconds. Well, um, <laughs> I just thought that the beginning was really important because since I read the text. And you're right there in the beginning. Yeah, just right there. Wow. because it's, it's just tremendous, guys. I want to thank you so very much for coming and showing me your yeah. artwork. And again, uh, there's 15 other students who were part of this, putting this together. The book, again, is My Baby Rhinos. You can get it online on Amazon.com. It makes a great Christmas gift. And of course, the author uh, is contributing those funds back to uh, 
this Tula Tula orphanage, and uh, the rhinos will be very happy that you were able to help them at Christmas as well. We will see you tomorrow on the Mountain Morning Show. Until then, make sure you get outside. See ya.